With the introduction now uh, behind us, let's move along and examine our first basic program. Uh, this program was written by Paul Robson, and I believe I got it from his GitHub. Um, before I list it, I like to say it's relatively uh, straightforward, very short, but it, it'll demonstrate for you the power of super basic. Um, that is leveraging a number of commands, uh, such as bitmap graphics commands, um, joystick port um, commands, um, and uh, procedure proc commands, otherwise known as uh, the use of functions that can be called without any go to or go subs. So you can see here we've got a, what is it, maybe, I don't know, 15 line program, 20 line program. Um, there's two things I want to point out from a screen editor perspective. And this is something that um, you may, may resonate. Um, to start with, the line numbers, which are intentionally numbered, kind of beginning with a single digit number down to double digit numbers, ultimately um, three digit numbers, um, is indented in what you might consider pretty print um, formatting fashion, um, such that all of the left edge of the commands align. Um, and there's a, a byproduct or a side effect of this but um, that's one thing to point out. Uh, another thing to point out is that this indentation is done automatically. So I can type my procedure in this case, type the commands within the procedure, create a while loop, more on how that works later, create a function or rather call a function inside of my while loop, and all of this formatting will be uh, um, rendered for me um, indented, so it's easier to read. Um, so in short, we've got a single line program here, uh, line five. It does something called title, passing through a string, and then it ends. In the body of the program are three uh, procedures. There's the title, which we, which we just mentioned. Um, there's a bunch of commands and there's a loop, and there's a while, another loop inside of there. And then there's the end procedure. So that's the first procedure called title. We have a second procedure here called center. Note the UK spelling, S-C-E-N-T-R-E. -E, a single line procedure. Um, also note that we're passing in um, a couple of, of, uh, of integers and a text message. And then finally, it moves on to the third procedure, which is uh, draw title at, um, and you'll see what that does. So um, in short, it's a fairly simple program about 10 or 20 lines. Um, it, it does a number of things, which we're not dive into directly here, but um, I just wanted to at least show you the, the combination of, of um, kind of new and old here. Looping was certainly something that, that came along in some of the, uh, I'll say better basics. Um, procedures was certainly something included in BBC basic, um, but otherwise we're, we're doing uh, quite a bit of work here and I'll press, uh, I'll type run, press play, I was gonna say. I'll type run here in a moment and, and you'll see what this does. The other thing I wanted to point out, by the way, from a line editor perspective is the fact that this line here is a little peculiar and it's peculiar because the text runs and wraps around to this next line. So folks that have been used to Commodore screen editors and maybe some other editors uh, have seen this before. And typically in a Commodore system, you'll see it when you do something like um, uh, I'll say 200 print hello or hello and when you press enter and then when you list you'll find that it rendered the line like this and what that does is it tends to push the text to the right um, as it's expanded and of course the Commodore um, basic included a bunch of shortcuts where you could say I believe um, Let's see if I get this right. Um, P capital R, which uh, if the character set was swapped, you would see a capital P and then a graphic character, which will also expand to the word print. Um, uh, G, G capital O, which would expand to go sub. Um, and because the Commodore included uh, a, a line, which could be um, two screen lines wide or 80 characters in total, when you listed any of these abbreviated commands, inevitably you would get the same phenomenon occurring, which is um, a line of basic wrapped around. So that that's fine. It's just something to be aware of. Um, unfortunately, uh, Super Basic also will work in the same way as Commodore Basic, which is if you try to edit this line, it'll suddenly have a problem. So the example here is if I make a change to 170, 
and I change this variable to NAM just for, for fun, NAE, even more fun. And then I press list down here, 170. You'll notice that the right edge of, of the screen is cut off and indeed the line 170 lost the fact that these this letter ET belongs to the offset at the end of the screen here. It should be ET. So that's a something to be aware of. Not a terrible deal, but just something to be aware of. Um, as far as I'm aware, it's <laughs> it's kind of something we inherited from the from the days of old that is going to uh, persist. Um, so there's no perfect world, but it's just one slight gotcha um, to to the way that Super Basic deals with with text formatting, etc. Of course, it comes with great benefits, um, but that's one drawback that you need to be aware of. Um, the other part of it is, of course, I edited line 170. Um, if had I pressed Enter here to get down, and this is something that's common. I'm editing in line here. I'm, I'm fine. I'm happy with this. I'm pressing return. This is, of course, re-entering that, that line number back into basic and to being retokenized and, and kind of, uh, you know, evaluated at every carriage return. Now I'll press enter here. And what happens? Well, I get a syntax error because that was just ET on a line by itself. It wasn't really aware that there was a second line inserted. Um, so again, just, a, just something to be aware of. Let me fix this. Uh, it's going to be name. I'm gonna to have to go to the end here. I'm gonna have to back this up. And I'm gonna to have to go to the end of this line. Uh, and I'm gonna say offset. That'll fix it. I'm gonna clear the screen. I'm gonna list the program again. I'm gonna get rid of my example, hello. And list it one last time for good measure. And I should be ready to go. Okay, let's give it a shot and see what happens here. And there you have it. So we'll cover how this is accomplished uh, when we get into the graphics section. Um, but it's, uh, I don't know if I'll call it dramatic, but hey, it's interesting. It uses a bunch of kind of new commands, uh, new to super basic. It's uh, rendering this in, in a loop with a bunch of, of uh, colors. You can see a font here that I don't recognize. And of course, this is one of the commands that you can print text in graphics mode, in bitmap mode, and there's various ways to size it, et cetera, choose different colors. Um, and it's waiting for us to press fire to start. Um, I'll mention here that the the uh, command to scan for the fire button is called Joy B, J O Y B parentheses. And you may have seen this in in the prior list of all of the all those commands or keywords. Um, interestingly, the the Joy B and even the Joy X and Y command um, has a keyboard shortcut built right in. So there's no need to 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 check or have two modes with keyboard mode or joystick mode. It'll, it'll do either. And I believe L will be the fire button. So I'll press L. There you go. And it ended the program. Um, of, course, of course, it also put L into the keyboard buffer. And that's what you see at the top here. So I'll list this again. And uh, that's uh, anything else to point out here? No, there you have it. But let me just show you at least the last part of the program. While joy B zero is not equal to zero. While end, that's the W end command. So hopefully this brief program gives you a taste of the power of Super Basic and an exploration into some of the graphics commands, uh, the way that the line editor works, um, some of the benefits of it, um, something to think about, and I won't call it a drawback, but it's kind of a, a you know um, artifact of, of history. So we'll, uh, we'll discuss these topics and more in the next video. Uh, hope this has conveyed some of the uh, benefits of Super Basic to you.